Hello, Chris Hyde here with Dr. Phil Klotzball from Colorado State. Phil, what are we looking like for the tropics for this 2025 season? Well, hi, Chris. It's good to, good to see you again. Yeah, we're forecasting an above normal Atlantic hurricane season in 2025. A total of 17 named storms. Those are systems named by the National Hurricane Center, so tropical storms and hurricanes. Of those 17, nine becoming hurricanes. And of those nine, four becoming major category three, four, five hurricanes. Those are hurricanes with winds of 111 miles per hour or greater. Uh, that's somewhat above the long-term average of 14 named storms, seven hurricanes, and three major hurricanes, but less than what we observed last year when we had 18 storms, 11 hurricanes, and five major hurricanes. If you were to look at, uh, say, the uh, central and western Gulf versus the east coast and southeast, any one particular region have a better chance uh, for a higher probability of landfall this year? Yeah, so we do issue probabilities for um, hurricane impacts, uh, but those are all adjusted based on the same kind of percentage. So basically uh, what we do now is we forecast basically wind energy, what we call accumulated cyclone energy in the western half of the Atlantic basin. Um, when that metric is above normal, the probabilities are uh, being impacted by hurricanes do go up. Um, so we do have um, a slightly elevated probability this year of hurricane impacts because we are overall forecasting an above normal hurricane season um, in the western half of the basin in addition to basin wide. Uh, the way that we kind of adjust the basin wide level to the activity in the western half of the basin is by looking at um, whether we have El Nino or La Nina. So when you have El Nino, you tend to get less activity, but you also tend to get a lot less activity in the western half of the basin. Reason being that in general in El Nino, you tend to get more shear in the Caribbean. Caribbean by definition being in the western half of the basin, that really tends to knock down um, your activity there. Yeah, so with that said, if there is a fair amount of shear in the Caribbean, you know, as far as energy it concerns for the natural gas producing area in the central and western gulf it only takes one but maybe the probabilities tend to be a little lower this year as far as impacts maybe more of a utility power focus for utilities across the u.s east coast parts of the southeast and maybe deja vu of last year i'm not saying that it could be a helene situation but certainly uh, the grids could be impacted with a more of a higher probability of east coast as opposed to uh, central and western gulf uh, if you were to to take from an energy perspective, certainly agriculture and, and other uh, things could be impacted as well. Gulf is a really tricky region, and that's because, you know, I think you can actually even look at last year as a really good example of kind of three kind of ways storms can get into the Gulf. You can have a storm, for example, like Beryl, which develops, you know, off of Africa, comes all the way across, ends up in the Gulf and head Texas. You can have a storm like Helene that develops in the Caribbean, then tracks through the Gulf, or you can have a storm more like Milton, which you know, had some energy from even like the Eastern North Pacific and then developed kind of almost in situ in the Gulf. And so the Gulf is a tricky region. I think we have, from a seasonal forecast perspective, probably the region that we actually have the best predictability for is the Caribbean. Obviously having good skill at forecasting that region is valuable because obviously Caribbean, a lot of people live there, but also two Caribbean storms can track north as we saw obviously with Hurricane Helene last year and cause significant impacts once they get into the Gulf. So, you know, obviously this year, again, thankfully the conditions aren't nearly as conducive as they looked last year at this time, uh, but overall conditions still do look somewhat conducive 